Nick, I'll oh, talk about Nick first. <coughs> so Nick's an artist, uh, he draws, uh, pen and ink drawing. Uh, he's done, uh, he's always drawn. He used to do, like years ago, like back in the early 90s, he used to do these big kind of uh, dystopian street scenes, weren't they? We, we're both from London, so we're, we're both English, we're both, we're both from London, East London, so Nick used to do, do, do these big sort of dystopian dream type uh, street scenes. Uh, I had one I had one at my house for a bit and it was like from that wall back here, like this tall, it was really fine, it was all cross hatch, cross hatch, cross hatch. <coughs> And people used to come around sometimes and they'd see it and it would frighten them. Because they'd just sort of think, oh, <laughs> he sat there and did that. Um, <clears throat> in the 90s, uh, he, he also did like just like standalone pieces. They were picked up by uh, the Brittart Agency. Some of them were sold. Uh, comics, Nick's always done. Uh, in the 90s, he did an uh, underground comic called Watermelon. Uh, what else? For me, <coughs> a lot of the, the, the stuff that Nick's done, I mean, he's lived camp in Cambodia, how long did he do? Five years. So he's, he's done shows in Phnom Penh, had a show here. A lot of the things, the stuff that Nick does uh, is to do with um, forgotten people. Uh, forgotten things. So he did one one time when he was in India and a woman had given him a, it was like a begging card and it was a, a sad story of how she'd ended up in the begging situation on the card. And so then Nick took the card and he'd drawn the sad story and turned that into a piece of art. Uh, there was another time he had a friend that worked in a psychiatric hospital. He did a, a small comic called J The Story of Joe Odd. And uh, the guy that worked in this psychiatric hospital had found this sort of autobiographical fragment in, in, in the psychiatric hospital, written by uh, one of the patients, no name on it. And so Nick, uh, the, the guy gave the piece of text to Nick, and Nick turned it into a comic using the other guy's text. And this idea of um, forgotten people, 